Welcome ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for another Z1 Motorsports product video. Today we're going to talk about one of our coolest performance upgrades, Z1 oil cooler kits. Uh, we offer these for 300ZX, 350Z, 370Z, G35, G37, and even some of the early Q models. Uh, let's talk about some of the situations where you would need an oil cooler. A lot of us uh, like to drive these things hard on the weekend, uh, really gets those engine temperatures up. First thing we think about when trying to keep the engine temperatures down is an upgraded radiator or something along those lines with the coolant. But the source of the heat is actually in the oil. So one of the best ways to combat uh, engine temperatures is by adding an oil cooler to the car. That's gonna stop the heat at its source. Really bring those coolant temperatures down with it as well. Many of these cars already have a factory integrated oil cooler. The 300ZX has uh, one down front. The 350Z, most of those have a uh, coolant passage that flows around the oil that uh, helps keep those temperatures down and a lot of the 370s do as well. Uh, for daily driving this might be fine but for uh, heavy weekend driving or even uh, track track events if you want to go to the track on the weekend it's just not going to cut it. These uh, oil temperatures are going to get uh, high up there. Oil is going to start to break down. You're not going to be protecting that engine as well as you could. Um, we like to either upgrade the factory setup or add an entirely new cooler to the application uh, just to help combat those higher temperatures you see. One of my favorite things about the Z1 oil cooler kit is the uh, lines that we offer. Uh, for the VQ platforms, we offer Dash 10 AN lines, which really has a high flow volume, so at higher RPMs when you're out there just bombing the track or really driving heavy on the weekends. You got a good flow of oil going to the engine, so you don't have any issues with the valve train at higher RPMs. Another feature of these lines is the swivel O-ring fittings on the end of these. Uh, it really allows for you to get perfect fitment on it whenever you're bolting everything together. That way you don't have it uh, looking undesirable or pointed in an odd direction and really just lets the install go a little bit smoother. Another key feature that we offer is the uh, protective wrapping that's on these. Uh, stainless steel braided lines are very rough and abrasive uh, as far as to the touch. Uh, if these rub up on your frame rail, on AC lines or power steering hose, anything like that, it's going to cause a problem pretty early on, uh, which is something that we want to avoid. So this uh, protective wrapping really gives it a nice soft texture. That way you're not damaging anything after the install. My other favorite part about these is going to be the sandwich plate that we use. Uh, the thread pitch on this is for the factory Nissan oil filter, whereas some of the other kits on the market require you to use an aftermarket or another brand oil filter that's really going to take away from the uh, products that you have to purchase. You're going to have to source your own filters, buy something unique. There's a chance of getting that mixed up with the wrong product. Another thing that we do offer with these sandwich plates is a thermostatic sandwich plate. This is going to be really good for street or daily driven vehicles. Helps you get those oil temperatures up to operating spec. That way you're not out there running down the road with oil that's too cold uh, and not, not easily flown through the engine. All of our oil cooler setups are going to come with uh, chassis specific hardware to fit those directly on your vehicle. We provide all the brackets, the individual nuts and bolts that you'll need, and in some situations even additional anchor points uh, that are going to be needed. We provide the install tool for those so that you don't have to go out and source that stuff yourself. Uh, with our oil coolers for the VQ platforms, we offer a nice insulated bracket to go along with that to help protect against vibrations or any kind of movement that's unnecessary there. When you go to purchase one of these oil cooler kits from our website or over the phone, uh, you're going to be asked a couple different questions. Uh, one of them being what size core that you need. For most street applications, our 19 row core is going to be more than suitable for, uh, for an upgrade from the factory setup. Uh, in some of the more heavily driven, if you drive in uh, very hot climates anywhere in the south or out in California, you might want to step up to our 25 row. For track applications, we even offer this massive 34 row cooler. Uh, we use that for most of our competitive applications, our time attack car, our spec car, uh, and a lot of our street driven cars that have turbocharger and supercharger setups on them. The next question you're going to be asked is the sandwich plate. Do you want thermostatic or non-thermostatic? For most street applications, I would recommend the thermostatic. That's going to help get your oil temperatures up to operating spec. 
because just as oil that's too hot is harmful for the engine, oil that's too cold is also harmful for the engine. We do offer two different brands of oil cooler cores. We have the uh, economy line that we offer as a MoCal, as for our budget-minded uh, purchasers, people who are trying to get an oil cooler on the car and shave a little bit of cost. For uh, heavy-duty applications, track, heavy weekend use, and really everything else, I would recommend the Set Trap Core. It's a really durable setup. We typically don't have any issues out of these whatsoever. Thank you for watching our Z1 oil cooler video. If you have any additional questions on these setups, please give us a call or send us an email. Thank you.